One of the areas where we typically tend to lack motor and sensory awareness are our feet. And a lot of issues, stiffness, injuries in the rest of our body can be resolved by bringing about a better brain-body connection with these parts, by opening up these areas, and by bringing about more body awareness. So in today's video, I'll share with you a simple technique that you can use to achieve this and to activate the part of the brain that is responsible for body awareness, for proprioception, and for sensations in the body. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position, and we'll begin by bringing the right foot up and simply massaging the foot, massaging the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, and the toes. Feel free to use a non-toxic cream or oil of your choice to do this, or you can even do this without. And while you do this, breathe, connect to this part of your body. And notice how immediately the rest of your body starts to relax a little more. And this is great to wake up um, the energy centers in our feet um, and the reflexes on the feet. And once you've done this, we'll move on and use our thumbs to massage just the ball of the foot. So use your thumbs and just gently massage the ball of the foot. Once again, getting your brain to become more aware of this part. Breathe. And next, what we will do is work towards creating more space between the bones that go from the toes to the ankle, the metatarsals. And the way we'll do this is use our fingers and dig them between the two bones. So let's start between the big toe and the second toe. And just run them along this groove, the space between these two bones. So along the top of your foot towards the ankle, then you can do this a couple more times and really imagine you're digging your fingers in and trying to make this space bigger. So many people tend to be very constricted in this area and the space tends to be really, really tight. Okay, so once you've done this one, move on to the next one. So go between the second and the third toe. And notice how this area feels, probably more tight than the first one. So same thing, just run your fingers along this groove towards your ankle. And you can even do it just with one hand like this. And then slowly start to shimmy your fingers in. As if you were trying to create more space and dig in your fingers. And then once you've done this, move on to the space between the third and the fourth toe. And notice how it becomes more challenging as you move towards the little toe. But that's really the aim is to create space and to really get the brain to recognize and be aware of the existence of this space. Good. And last one between the fourth and the little toe. Really dig your fingers in. Move along this groove towards your ankle. Feel this space. Good. Good. And then just relax your foot. Relax any tension there. If you need to take some circles with your ankles, go ahead. Maybe move your toes a little bit. And we're good to go. <laughs> Let's move on to the left side now. Same thing. Take a moment to gently rub the sole, the top of your foot, your toes as well. Gently massaging with or without oil. Breathing through this. And then we'll take our thumbs and massage the ball of the foot only. So there's no need to press too hard here. Just notice what feels right here. Um, if there is any specific part of the ball of the foot that um, is asking for more attention, go ahead and spend a little extra time there. 
And next, we're going to use our fingers and run them along the space between the metatarsals. Good. If you need to, you can shimmy your fingers in, dig your fingers in, and move them along this groove. And use this opportunity to bring about more awareness in your feet, connect to your feet, connect to your breath, and move on to the space between the second and the third toe. And I sometimes like to use just one hand, so feel free to do that. And then move to the space between the third and fourth toe, and move your fingers along that groove. Just trying to create more space, breathing in, relaxing your facial muscles, relaxing your shoulders. And then the last one will be the space between the fourth and the, the pinky toe, the small toe. Just move your finger along that groove. Quite challenging here. And then... Whenever you're done, take a moment to just relax your foot, relax your toes, move your toes a little bit, rotate your ankle a couple of times. Great. I hope that this was useful and that um, you practiced it along with me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.